Hello everybody and welcome back to my page. In today's video I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. If you're wondering how I came from looking like this and to looking like this, make sure to stay tuned after the intro. First things first I'm going to do is I'm going to prime small amount in my hand and rub that on the face. I'm going to use a new product today. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl uh, Simply, Simply Ageless Skin Perfecting Essence. And I'm just going to take one pump and put it in this little lid thing. And this is how you achieve a clean girl uh, makeup look. Basically, everyone was using the Chanel version of this, but like it was $70 and I was like, no. But for $17, which I found this at Ulta for $17, I'm willing to try it. Putting it on with a brush, it basically looks like there is no product on the skin. So I'm going to try to apply another layer just with my fingers. Once again, just one pump. And I'm just going to break up those pearls, the uh, pigment inside of the product. And I'm just going to lightly apply that with the finger. And just... Smear on the face. Now that I got all the product on the face, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my fingers like so. So it adds like a light tint to the skin. Uh, so uh, basically it looks like I'm wearing nothing. This will probably be something I would most likely end up wearing during the summer. So far I do like it, but it needs some more coverage in certain areas. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use another CoverGirl product. No, this is not sponsored. I've been using this for years. You can look back on my catalog and see that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer right there underneath the nose. I need a little more coverage underneath the eyes. Also to cover up this blemish right here. And I'll add a little bit right there and right there where uh, acne scars are. And I'm just going to add a little bit right there. And just cover up different blemishes that are starting to come through. I'm going to go back in with that same foundation brush and blend out the concealer where it needs to be blended out. And I'm just going to take my sponge and sort of soften up the areas that I added the concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the foundation with some Cody Air Sponge. And I'm going to take a uh, setting brush and set underneath the eyes. And also this is in a yellow undertone, so this uh, will also cancel out some of my redness. We're just gonna go down through the jawline. Now we're gonna go in with some uh, rose tea blush and take a powder brush and start from the side of my face and go upwards just to give it a little more uplifted and also flush look. 
Now we're gonna go in with some neutral bronzer and start from the top of the forehead, softly blend it out and bring it downwards. And we're gonna go in with a gold highlighter because gold is more natural looking on the skin. And we're just gonna take a small amount, put it on the nose and also uh, tap it into the light points of the face. And we're just gonna hit that brow bone a little bit. We're gonna take a, a cream contour stick and sort of just contour the nose a little bit where it can have a little more depth to it. We're gonna take a, a powder brush once more. Uh, I'm just gonna use this brush and sort of just blend it out a little bit. We don't want it to be too uh, blended out completely. We want it to be a little bit noticeable. Basically, it's going to create uh, a shadow that is going to allow uh, the face to be a little more prominent. Now we're gonna take a highlighter stick and sort of just Put that on the inner corner of the eyelid and I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. So basically what's it going to do is create a contrast of light so that it can make my eyes appear a little more bigger. And I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer, the neutral bronzer, and it sort of just hit the outer portion of the eye to create a crease. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that bronzer and also put it down here at the bottom of the lip to create a fuller appearance of a bottom lip. Then I'm going to take a bigger brush to blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with some lipstick. I'm going to use more of a nude uh, neutral color. Just put enough on there to give a little bit of a tint to create a little more light and also to make it seem a little more... Um, Luminous, I'm going to take the same highlighter, barely dab any on the finger. Just put a little bit on the lip, just tap it on there so that I can have a little more of a natural sheen to it. I'm gonna take some lip gloss, put enough right there in the center. Rub the lips together. I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna fill it in with this, uh, this taupey, uh, I pencil just basically just give a little more of a tint and also uh, fill in some of those bald spots. Now I'm going to take some brow mascara. This is a sculpting gel and sort of just sculpt the brows how I want them, which I want them like that. The brows do look a little harsh, but it will. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the face with some setting spray. I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Last setting spray and just soak and drench the face so that I can ensure that all of the product melts. And this is the complete look. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that bell post notification so that you can keep up with all my content. And be sure to share this video to all your friends. And with that being said, I do thank you for watching. Remember to do all things with love. And until next time, bye.